fictional company is buying up hundreds of homes across Colorado and creating a lot of unhappy customers. Denver 7's Jace Larson, in collaboration with ABC News, investigates the billion-dollar landlord. Chris Lynch has had enough, so he's moving out with his wife and three kids. You know, we just want to have a home that's safe and comfortable and a place that the kids like to be, and, and it's hard when things are constantly breaking. These doors started hanging open, and you can see right in here where it's pulling away from the walls. Tons of space that we can't use. But the worst problem started days after he moved in. The first week we were in the home, we had our power shut off in late November. It was actually snowing that night, so it was cold. We had no heat. Renters pay Waypoint for their power and water, and then Waypoint is supposed to pay the utility companies directly. But Waypoint did not. We've had our water shut off on two separate occasions because they didn't pay the bill. Waypoint Homes is a multi-billion dollar nationwide landlord company. They have 2,100 rental homes in Colorado. Those homes are scattered from Denver to Aurora to Brighton, Commerce City, Castle Rock, and Highlands Ranch. I'm curious, if somebody came to you and said, I'm thinking about renting from Waypoint, nope. what would you say? No, mm -hmm. if you need a place to stay, you can stay with me. Yeah. Do not. Roommates Amber Howard and Lori Cord chose their Waypoint house because it was close to their military job at Buckley Air Force Base. They say after moving in, getting things fixed became a chore. How many times would you guess that you called Waypoint? Man, probably about 50 times. Before Amber's lease was up, Waypoint agreed to let them move out early. These emails show that she wouldn't be charged after September 16th. But what did the company do? It charged her anyway. Next time I get um, connected about this move out statement, it's an email from collections. For both of us. So now our credit is shot. And we found more complaints. When it comes to needing repairs, no, it takes them forever. Last summer's historic hailstorm broke Megan Belly's skylight. It took Waypoint about eight months to fix it. When it backed up, this was full of crap all over the place. Sewage? Yeah. Straight out of the toilet. Paul Mappa of Aurora eventually got a judge to force Waypoint to pay him back after he hired his own repairman. Yeah, I had to call them to come out again. He says Waypoint didn't respond quickly enough. The company says he didn't tell them how serious it was. It was hot. Rachel Oliver's family went weeks during the summer without air conditioning. Waypoint said it was a complicated repair. This whole thing was flooded down here. But last month, her family battled this. This is where it all came down, down the walls and the ceiling. A leak in their kitchen left this mess in the basement. It's still dripping right there. Repairmen did come out hours after we left, though. And these aren't the only complaints. Of the 90 reviews on Waypoint's local Facebook page, 85 of them are one star. The company has a D-plus rating with the BBB. To be clear, we knocked on a lot of doors, and we did find some happy customers. You might just stay there forever. <laughs> Waypoint posts good reviews on YouTube, too. But in our joint investigation with ABC News, renters all over the country shared complaints. They really don't care about their tenants. At the end of the day, it's all about one thing, and that's money. We've heard a lot of complaints, and our stations across the country have, about poor service, that you're very slow to fix. I do not agree with that at all. You um, don't? No, if you look at... You, you look have across, a good track record? Yeah, we... we you really we, do? Yeah, we look across um, our... Uh, our, our surveys and we work with our residents. The vast majority of our residents are very satisfied. But Waypoint admits that it screwed up utility payments and says it now has a new system so that customers like Chris won't get their heat cut off. The company also says it's going to fix storm damage without waiting for insurance checks. And Waypoint admits that it messed up on Amber and Lori's account and says it's now stopped trying to collect money from them. But the experience has been too much for some. We just feel like we've been victimized and taken advantage of. Chris is ready for a fresh start for everyone in his family, and he says he won't be writing checks to Waypoint ever again. That's why we're moving. We want to be in a place that we can trust who we're working with and that we know that the home is safe and comfortable to be in. Hmm. Well, if you have landlord problems, of course, email photos. But rental experts with Colorado Housing Connects also say send a certified letter. It might sound old school, but if you end up in court, judges like to have proof that that letter has actually arrived. Also, guys, don't stop paying your rent just because there's a problem. Mm. You want to pay your rent in full, and then if you have to, you can go to a judge later to get your yeah. money back. Oh, boy, but that is stuff. outrageous. It Thank took you. a long time to get a lot of those places fixed. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jason. Mm -hmm.